it going guys? This is your boy Alex. Today, I have a very special video for you. Some of you don't know, but I work as a chef in one of the best Mexican restaurants in Dallas. Today is a very special day for me and I really want to share with you. I've been working on this new menu for five months already. And today is a presentation for my menu. So if you ever wonder what's going on in the restaurant kitchen, stick around because I'm going to show you. Let's get it. It's 10 a.m. in the morning. I have my mate right here. And uh, we're on the way to the restaurant. Today is a big day because I've been working this new menu for about four months. And uh, today is the presentation of my new menu. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. And, you know, I can't wait. It's going to be a long drive, guys. The restaurant I'm working now has two concepts, right? The first one is called Shaman Cafe, which is a traditional Mexican coffee shop. All the coffee comes from different parts of Mexico and they only serve breakfast and, you know, like the classics, chilaquiles, molletes. Weekends, we have a different concept, which is a hidden spot. It's called Ayahuasca Cantina, right? All the, all the cocktails we serve there, uh, they were created by the guys, they're a genius. Um, and the food is all about uh, traditional food, but with a modern twist. Last year we got named uh, one of the 10 best restaurants in Dallas. Uh, I got invited to a private dinner by D Magazine. I'm really happy to put all my ideas into that place because I think it's a really opportunity to show what Mexican food is all about, right? My menu and what I really like about this place that I'm working now is that we are bringing everything from Mexico and it's all about Mexican food. So, you know, on my menu, it's inspired by traditional dishes. Um, it's combined with new techniques, but it's still Mexican, you know? Like, I really want to keep my roots. It's been tough these few weeks because, you know, all recipes is not good at first. You have to really taste, try, and sometimes it don't come good and you have to try again and you have to change some ingredients and sometimes you have to change the recipe because it didn't come out good. But uh, finally, I'm happy with it. So, you know, I hope people like it and, and you know, I'm pretty excited. Hispanic uh, but in the past years in the past five ten years it's been growing to what we know now as Bishop Arts and it's pretty cool because all the people is taking pretty much the culture 
and it's uh, new restaurants uh, new coffee shops new art stores are coming out so it's pretty it's pretty dope what they're doing here um, I really like this place some of the restaurants I've tried like most of them are really good uh, the neighborhood is really friendly and you know it's a really good area there's always something going on so I really like this place after 45 minutes it was almost like an hour of driving we're finally here so let's get inside because we only have a few hours until people start arriving and let's go let's get it The very first thing that I like to do when I'm cooking or I'm just doing any recipe is to plan what I'm gonna do. Get everything ready before I start cooking. This is what we call in the kitchen the mise en place, which translates from French everything in its place. This menu consists of a five course meal. I put a lot of effort on every plate, so the attention of detail is very important to me. From the preparation to the plating, every flavor, every ingredient was really thought about on every dish. So taking my time of plating and just, you know, be at the moment really matters to me. Every dish is from a different part from Mexico. I really wanted to take the classics. We have our chili from Sinaloa, Torta ahogada from Guadalajara, moles from Oaxaca, catch of the day, which is a sea bass from Nayarit, and a recipe from grandma, which is arroz con leche. You know, I really try to think about my roots, memories, travels, and get inspired by some of my favorite recipes and put my little twist on them. Me gusta, o sea, que, que hay una descripción de también con, con palabras en español, porque es lo que agarra como la atención de la gente. Está, está, está super chido. I like it. Thank you so much for watching. 
if you guys like this video please click the like button and subscribe and don't forget next time you're in Oak Cliff, Texas come at the restaurant and I will be super happy to serve some of my memories and the things that I really love one plate at a time I'm gonna leave the address of the restaurant on the description of this video see you guys take it easy and I'll see you next time